Has this happened to you? I'm really glad we get to spend a nice quiet meal together tonight. I know it's like really rare to just like sit down and just concentrate on us, but I'm really like it when we eat. Uh. Do you have to get on your phone again? Do you have to respond to every noise it makes? I, this might be something important. I gotta like, it could be like work related. Hold on. I'm sure it's just another tweet. Well, but like, I mean, what? Technology has completely changed how we interact with each other, our work, and ourselves. We're bombarded with five times as much information as we were in the 80s. It pulls us in through immediate notifications and people expect immediate responses no matter where you are and what you're doing. Most of us cope by multitasking, doing two things at once. We keep our email open when we work on our documents, continue texting with one group of friends when we're hanging out with another another and scroll through our Twitter when we're watching Netflix. Here's the thing though, humans can't multitask. Now if we're doing two different things at the same time and one of them is something we've done a bunch of times, we can sort of multitask. Like driving your daily commute and listening to music. But the moment one of those tasks gets difficult, like driving in a new part of town or trying to find a parking spot, you're gonna have to turn off the music. When people think they're multitasking, I'm doing my homework and watching TV. Wait, who just, who did he just give it to? What they're actually doing is quickly switching from one thing to another. Try watching both of these videos at the same time. This isn't multitasking, it's called task switching. And it makes you dumb. Most people think they're really good at multitasking, but when psychologists studied this in the lab, they found that people make 20% more mistakes when multitasking. Not only are you doing a worse job when you multitask, but it also takes a lot longer to get things done. And the more you multitask, the harder it becomes to recover from distractions. Your brain is built to do one thing at one time. And even that takes effort. The default setting on your brain is daydreaming mode. This is where your thoughts wander from one thing to another. But focused attention is a super complex task. You have to filter out distractions in your environment, ignore those thoughts about doing something more interesting, remember important information, make decisions about what to do, and solve problems as they come up. All this work is really exhausting for your brain. And after a while, your brain needs to switch back to daydreaming mode in order to recharge. Pro tip, every couple of hours, take a break from your work and daydream. Just let your mind wander as you go on a walk or look out a window, listen to music. And no, you can't read your email or check social media while doing this. Stuff like that triggers focus attention and undoes your daydreaming recharge. This is why I hate open offices. While they make employees feel more connected, all those distractions have been found to hurt attention spans, productivity, creativity, and lead to more stress. Open offices take away control from your environment. When you can't control your environment and limit distractions, your attention is going to suffer and you're gonna do a bad job. The most important skill you need to learn to be productive is to concentrate on one thing at one time. Time. Learning how to pick a task, embracing it fully, silencing your phone and putting it away, closing all the other tabs on your browser, shutting the door, blocking out noises in the environment, and keeping it up for a set period of time. That's what's going to lead to success in this era of constant distraction. How do you stay focused when you need to get stuff done? Let me know in the comments below. I'm at Olimantu on Twitter. Be sure to like The Psych Show on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube.